with all this success, it felt really lonely to you. Um, you started getting into drugs and drinking. Why wasn't the success enough for you? What 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 was it that wasn't filling up? Well, what I've I, what I think I've learned, what I hope I've learned, is really the problem that so many of us, the, one of the main problems so many of us face is expecting things to perform a function for which they're not designed. You know, like if I give you a hammer, that hammer is great for hammering in a nail, less so if you want to, um, I don't know, make banana bread. You know, if you try to use a hammer to make banana bread, you're gonna end up really frustrated. So fame, even material success, financial success, all these things, they're fine. The problem that I had is I expected them to fix my psychological issues. I expected them to fix my existential issues. And clearly that's not what fame and success are supposed to do. And all it takes is like a cursory look at the number of famous people who've made similar or have had similar expectations and been profoundly confused and disappointed by fame's inability to fix them. You know, that's why at the beginning of the documentary, we flashed to Ernest Hemingway, Kurt Cobain, Anthony Bourdain, uh, Avicii, et cetera, all these people who were probably, because there's this, this confusion that arises that's really terrifying when you spend your whole life thinking that when you finally get to that place of accomplishment, you'll be happy. And then you get to that place of accomplishment and you're not happy. In fact, you're isolated and lonely and scared. You don't know what else to do. You know, it's not like, it's not like there's a plan B. It's like, cause most of us are like, oh, well, I'll never be famous. I'll never be successful. And then you get there and you're sort of like, you've, you've, you haven't planned for anything else. So then you start drinking more, you start doing more drugs. And some people tragically end their lives because they just don't, you know, they don't know how to fix their lives. 